Number two, what is the total mass of hydrogen in each of the molecules? And then we have letter D, a long molecule. This is pentane. I just know that from organic chemistry. Hopefully, if you guys need to take that, um, I'll be teaching you that to you guys too. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, but yeah, the long, the long molecule, CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this just to make it bigger. So CH3, CH2, 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 geez, CH3. Okay. Now, when I start seeing the same elements come up over and over and over again, I like to combine them and just say how many total I have. So for example, I keep seeing this C come up over and over and over again. And I keep seeing the H come up over and over and over again. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it easy for myself and I'm going to simplify what this compound actually is. There's only two elements here. Which one is the hydrogen, guys? It's the H. C stands for carbon. So I just have a bunch of carbons and I just have a bunch of hydrogens. So let's see. Let's group together how many carbons there are. Well, for each one of them, I don't see any number next to it. You see how for the hydrogens, there are numbers next to it, but for the carbons, it just moves right into the H. What number is secretly here? Yeah, it, there's a one. Anytime that you don't see a number, it's a secret one for all of these. So I got one over here. I got one over here. So how many total carbons do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. So this can be written as C5. Now let's do the hydrogens, right? I see that I have three here. I have two here. I have two here, two here, and three here. So I'm going to add them all together. Three plus two plus two plus two plus three is I believe 12. Yeah, five, three plus two is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, okay. So I will just say H 12. Now I make it, I made it easier for myself. How many total hydrogens do we have? Oh, we have 12 of them. In order to find the total mass of hydrogen, we need to find out how many total of the hydrogens I have in my compound. And in this case, I have 12 hydrogens. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take that 12 and we're going to multiply it by the mass. Now the mass comes from the periodic table. So this is what the hydrogen box looks like on my periodic table that I'm using. Your number may vary slightly. The, the number one should be the same, but this number might vary a little bit and that's okay. Different periodic tables give different masses because of different rounding. Now. Which one is the mass number? Is it the whole number or is it the decimal? If you see for all the elements, you have whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, up until like 118, and then you have decimal numbers. The decimal number is the average atomic mass, and that's what we need. The one is the atomic number, it's the number of protons and the number of electrons if the element was neutral. Now, in this case, I'm going to use this as an AMU unit, atomic mass unit, AMU, mainly because they asked for the mass. So we could have used AMU, we could have used grams per mole, but I like AMU better for this, at least. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 12, and since each hydrogen is 1.008 AMU, I have 12 of them, I just multiply. And that's the total mass of hydrogen. So 12 times 1.008, I get 12.096. So 12.096 AMU, and that's it. 
That is the final answer. That's the total mass of hydrogen in this compound. Awesome job, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped. And it just shows me that I'm doing my job right here. And I hope you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. But if not, that's okay. Maybe I'll get you on the next video. Um, thank you so much. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.